Hey there fellow YouTubers, Max here with of course another edition of the Double X Vlogs of Max, number 28. Since I have been keeping track since the last one, I'm on number 28 and I figured I'd do another vlog to basically talk about tonight's, or last night's semi-finals results, round two results show. And there were some interesting results. I figured I'd share with you my thoughts on each of the results. Five of my picks got through. Only one of my picks that I made that I made yesterday didn't get through. And yeah, so I'm really happy about that. That four of my picks got through. Only three of my nephews got through. Ironically enough. So that was pretty interesting. So with the whole top five picks in the wild card pick, I came out on top against my nephew, which was pretty sweet, as you can imagine. Since I got this, since I got the more of the picks out of the two, but yeah, I just figured I'd do this vlog probably won't be that long, at least I don't think it'll be that long. Basically going through all the eliminations that happened on the semi-finals round two results show of HET and what I thought of each elimination and who got through. Anyway, the first elimination was down to Jim Connor, Stephen Retchless, and the silhouettes and obviously I figured this first elimination was a no-brainer because when it comes down to those three acts it's obvious that the silhouettes were the one act that deserved it the most out of those three acts I mean Stephen Rutchless I'm not saying he isn't talented he is a talented pole dancer but pole dancing is in a million dollar act and like I said in my previous vlog, the only people that are going to be interested in seeing a guy pole dance in Vegas are either girls or guys that are gay. No straight guy is going to want to watch a guy, another guy pole dance for an hour. So I don't think it's uh, all that great of an act. Jim Connor, I wasn't surprised that they didn't get through because, let's face it, they majorly screwed up last night, so it was obvious they weren't going to get through. And the Silhouettes did an amazing performance. They were, of course, one of my choices, so congrats going out to the Silhouettes. You all are stars, and I can't wait to see what you do next in the next round of the show. And then, of course, elimination number two, and lo and behold, they made it against two of my favorites, went head to head. Those being, of course, Land Landau Eugene Murphy Jr. and Anna Graceman. And basically, most of you probably figure why that this would kind of bug me, which of course it did, because it does kind of get me down when they pit two of my favorites against each other on the result shows of HET because then it pretty much gets me to the feeling where one of my favorites is going to go home and that kind of makes me sad and disappoints me and it's never nice to see one of my favorites on the show go home but yeah so it was down to Randall Eugene Murphy Jr. and Anna Graceman and was interesting how this result came out because at first they said that Anna Graceman was the one that made it through and which kind of disappointed me because before they had announced who was making it through I was really hoping that both of them were going to get voted through and that both of them were going to be in the top five but basically this elimination started off by Nick Cannon saying that Anna Graceman made it through to the next round and then I was kind of bummed out because I was like oh well Lando Eugene Murphy Jr. is going home even though he deserves to be in the finals and then what happens a few minutes later Nick 
pulls a Houdini and he decides to say, guess what, buddy? You're not going home after all, Landau. You both made it through to this. You both made it through to the finals. And of course, you, as you can imagine, I was really excited about this. So happy that Landau and Anna Graceman made it through to the finals because I absolutely love both of them. They're two of my favorite acts. They're amazing singers, and like I said before, they both deserve to be in the finals. So America. You made the right choice putting them both through. That's all I gotta say. Because Landau and Anna Graceman, they both deserve to be in the finals. And I can't wait to see what songs they do for their finals performance when it gets to the top 10 finals episode next week. But anyway, moving on. On Nation number three was between Professor Splash. Fatally Unique, Someone Win Skippers, and Landon Swank. And basically, those who follow my vlogs will notice that two of Dylan's choices were in this category, and two of my choices were in this category. And basically, this was an interesting category, because all of the acts in this category I like some more than others obviously and the ones that really stood out for me in this category were the Summer Wind Skippers and Land and Swank. I figured that when it came to this category it was either going to be Land and Swank or the Summer Wind Skippers mainly because they those two had really great acts last night and I just didn't see it going to Professor Splash because not that what he does isn't a great act. I love seeing him do those high dives into like very little water and stuff like that. But at the same time, he's pretty much done all you he can do with that act. So it's kind of like, well, what are you going to do next, even if you made it on to the finals? And personally, high diving, I don't think it could last an hour long Vegas show. It's just not interesting enough. And Fatally Unique, I didn't deserve to, I didn't think they deserved to make it through. Because personally, I th some may disagree, but I still think they were copying West Springfield dance team's quote unquote scary style with their performance last night, trying to add the scary element to it, which was basically, in my mind, copying West Springfield dance team and they're supposed to be fatally unique so and if they're so unique they shouldn't be copying somebody else's dance style or dance ideas or anything like that so yeah i was hoping land swank or the summer skippers would get through not only because they were two of my picks but also because of the fact that both did amazing last night both were impressive to watch and in elimination number three, lo and behold, Lynn and Swank ended up being the one to move on to the next round. Which I'm glad because he was one of my choices, but at the same time, I kind of wish the Summer Wind Skippers had made it on. Mainly because of the fact that though Lynn and Swank is amazing, don't get me wrong, he is an amazing magician. But. To me, Summerland Skippers had the better act. I mean, Landon Swank and the Summerland Skippers, they're both stars, obviously, and they both have amazing acts, but Summerland Skippers had the better act in my mind, so I was kind of surprised that Summerland Skippers didn't get through. Although I was happy that Landon Swank got through, because he was one of my picks. It was kind of sad to see one of my picks get eliminated, but what can you do? That's what happens in the show. And then, of course, there was elimination number four. And elimination number four was down to the Kinetic King, which those of you who follow my vlogs will know I absolutely hate the Kinetic King. I don't consider what he does to be a real talent. And I've been wanting them to eliminate him for the longest time. 
and then of course it was down to Kinetic King, like I said, Snap Boogie, and the Sma Smage Brothers or Smaji Brothers Riding Show. And basically, who got eliminated? The Kinetic King. And this, as you can imagine, made me very happy because I've been hoping that the Kinetic King would get eliminated so that he wouldn't make it to the finals because like I said the Kinetic King does not deserve to be in the semi-finals you can disagree with me if you want people but that guy does not deserve to be in the finals it's like I said before what he does is not a real talent no matter how you look at it it's not a real talent he doesn't deserve to be in the finals and basically that's all there is to it. So, as you can imagine, I was really happy. Thank you, America, for not voting him into the final round of eliminations. Because I know that if he had have been one of the last two acts standing for the final elimination, the judges would have voted him through. I have no doubt about that. Because for whatever reason, the judges all love this guy. They think he's the greatest thing since sliced bread. And... They absolutely love the guy, so I know that if he had gotten through to the last elimination, they would have voted him through and the Kinetic King would be in the finals. But, thankfully, he didn't get through to the last elimination, and because of that, he didn't make it to the finals. I am very happy right now, so much so that I'm going to do my little, my own little cheer. Woohoo! Do the Kinetic King's little slogan there but yeah I'm just glad that he's gone 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 no longer will I have to hear any of his stupid sayings or watch an act that's not real talent which makes me really happy I never liked the Kinetic Kings act I never could see myself liking the Kinetic Kings act and like I said it's not a real talent because anybody can do what he does or learn how to do what he does, as it were. But anyway, as you can imagine, the last elimination of the night, elimination number five, was down to the Smage Brothers, Riding Show, and Snap Boogie. And this one was up to the judges, of course. And Sharon picked Snap Boogie. Not that big of a surprise there. I kind of figured she was going to choose Snap Boogie over the Smage Brothers Riding Show because she, it was obvious that she liked Snap Boogie more than them. But of course, Pierce and Howie chose the Smage Brothers Riding Show, which I'm happy with their decision. Smage Brothers deserved it more. Not that, Sma not that Snap Boogie isn't great at what he does, but his performance last night wasn't nearly as good as his performance before that one. And... As much as I hate to say it, Snap Boogie doesn't want, doesn't deserve to be in the finals as much as the as much as the Smage Brothers Riding Show. So congrats to you, Smage Brothers Riding Show. Can't wait to see what you do next. I did enjoy your act last night, and you were my wild card, and that is basically why I made my wild card that I enjoyed your act. So yeah, as you can imagine. I'm happy. Four of my picks got through. Those picks, of course, being Lynn and Swank, Anna Graceman, Lando Eugene Murphy Jr., and the Silhouettes. And the three picks of my nephews that got through were Anna Graceman, the Smeiji Brothers Riding Show, and Lando Eugene Murphy Jr. So yeah, I just figured I'd share my thoughts with you on the semifinals round two episode of AGT, the results episode, as it were, and yeah, it was a great episode, can't wait, uh, look, so looking forward to next week, finally down to the top 10, should be really exciting to see, and it's going to be a really interesting round next week, no doubt about it, got a lot of great talent in the finals, and it'll be interesting to see who comes out on top, and yeah, Oh yeah, guess what? Something good happened to me today. Sim Social, like I mentioned in my last vlog, it actually started working today for me on my main FB account. 
which as you can imagine made me really happy because the past four days I wasn't able to get on it and it was getting really frustrating because it was one of it's one of my favorite games on FB but today of course I was finally able to get on it I was really happy about the fact that I was finally able to get on it after being not being able to get on it on my main FB account for the past couple of days which was really frustrating because I want to work on my stuff and my character and I noticed that when I finally did get back into my sim social account on my main FB account everything was the same nothing changed like the sim social didn't take any of my stuff away from me because of me not being on for so long and if they had if I would have been really pissed off because it wasn't my fault that I wasn't able to play the game, it was theirs. And it would have been unfair for them to take away any of the stuff that I had bought for my character. So I was glad that all my stuff was still there. And I was also, the only thing that really happened was my character really needed to eat and sleep and use the washroom and all that stuff. And, of course, my crops wilted away to nothing because I wasn't able to harvest them or water them for the past couple of days, which wasn't that big of a loss. They weren't anything all that great. But, yeah, I was able to get back on it, spent most of the day working on it. It's really coming along nicely. My I finally finished the expansion on my house, so my character finally has his own bedroom, a small one but it's still a bedroom. I'd like to thank the people on my Sim Social account. You know who you are, who helped me build that little renovation to my house so that my character finally has a bedroom. So thank you to those people. You know who you are, the people who I'm friends with on Sim Social and who are my neighbors on that game. And yeah, I was happy to get that done. I remodeled my bathroom, I remodeled the, my k kitchen a little bit, got some nice wallpaper in my character's room, got some nice blue tiles for the bathroom, looks really nice, and can't wait to work on it some more tomorrow and get through some of the achievements and buy some more stuff for my house and basically work on my character and developing the house. The next room I want to make is a kitchen and then I was thinking that if I make another room after that it'll probably be like a storage area room or something like that where I'll store stuff that I'm working on building until it's finished building and then I'll put it in my house. But yeah, just thought I'd share that with you. I will show my sim social house in a vlog in the next couple days. Well, I probably will anyway. Now that it's back up and running, I can show you guys on my house. Don't know how the video quality will turn out, but hopefully it'll turn out good. I can show you guys on my house and what I've done with it and stuff like that. And yeah, just show you all the renovations I've done and how nice it's looking. And yeah, so I'll probably make a short little vlog with that in the next couple of days so you can see my Sim Socials house. And you can let me know what you think of my the house that my sims live my sim character lives in but yeah just wanted to make this vlog to share my thoughts on the semi-finals round two results show of AGT and to share my happiness of the fact that I'm happy that sim social is back up and running for me there's still people that it isn't iron foreign to those people. I hope have faith because if it started working for me, eventually it will start working for you too. So don't give up. Have faith. Eventually the pro the game will work for you like it did for me, and you'll be back to playing it just like I have. And I've got a lot of work to do to catch up to all my friends that were able to play it, but. I am confident that I'll be able to get my house all nice and built. And of course I have my other sim 
character on my second alternate account to help me build stuff and do stuff with my house. So basically I have two characters in The Sims, one male, one female, the female one being on my other account. But yeah, just want to make a vlog to talk about that. But anyway, this has been another double X vlogs of Max. I am of course Max Callum. And to all of those of you who are affected by Hurricane Irene, I hope you're doing better. I know some of you don't probably don't have power yet in some areas out there in the US. A fellow vlogger of mine by the name of Crazy Kate, I know she's been without power. And I'd just like to say to her personally, Kate, I hope you and your family get power back soon because it must really be starting to be a drag on you and your family not having power at your family's house and whatnot. So hopefully you guys do get power back eventually. And I hope your fingers heal up soon because those blisters you talk about in your vlogs look pretty painful. And I'd imagine they would be pretty painful and whatnot. But yeah, I am of course Max Callum. Good night all, or good afternoon, since it'll be afternoon when I post this vlog. But yeah, good good night, good afternoon, whatever you want to call it, and check you later, people.